And the story today is called The Goblin and the Empty Chair by Mem Fox. In a time long past, in a land far away, there lived a goblin who had once seen himself reflected in a still pond. His reflection had frightened him so much he decided to hide his face from the world forever so as not to frighten anyone else. He kept himself to himself, took care not to be seen, and spent many years alone. But one day, the goblin happened to see a farmer's sigh, set down his tools, and bury his hat, head in his hands. That night, the goblin went to work. He dug where digging was needed. He chopped where chopping was needed. He painted where painting was needed and was careful not to be seen. But in spite of his care, the goblin was seen. The farmer, unable to sleep, stared out into the dark and watched without a word. The following day, on the very same farm, the goblin saw a woman sigh, set down her pail, and bury her head in her hands. That night, the goblin went to work. He watered where watering was needed. He planted where planting was needed. He pruned where pruning was needed and was careful not to be seen. But in spite of his care, the goblin was seen. The woman, unable to sleep, stared out into the dark and watched without a word. <clears throat> The following day, on the very same farm, the goblin saw a child sigh, set down her book, and bury her head in her hands. That night, the goblin went to work. He sat where sitting was needed. He soothed where soothing was needed. He stayed where staying was needed, and was careful not to be seen. But, in spite of his care, the goblin was seen. The child woke, kept very still, and watched without a word. In the morning, the child, the woman, and the farmer sat silent at their table, staring at the chair that had been empty all winter. Finally, the woman set a place in front of the empty chair. The farmer filled a plate with food. The child opened the door. And they waited. The goblin waited too and longed to join them, but he dared not show his face, lest it should frighten them away. So he stayed where he was. At last the farmer sighed and rose from the table without a word. The woman followed and the child made to follow as well. Wait, said the goblin, wait. So the farmer and the woman and the child sat down again, and the goblin came and sat in the empty chair. They looked at one another and smiled. And they began to eat. So there's some questions. You can scroll down, figure out why the farmer, the wife, and the daughter were sad, what the goblin did to help them, and why he didn't want to be seen. And did it really matter in the end? All right, hope you enjoyed the story.